It's me, Markel's World, all things professional wrestling in my life. I am very sad. My girl Liv Morgan has been arrested. Yes, she has been arrested. And this is some sad news. And they put her on blast and said that she had weed. Why did you have to put her on blast like that? This better not cost her anything because there's a lot of some wrestlers, I'm not going to say, who've been pulled over for drunk driving more than once. So they better not, I swear to God, they better not do nothing drastic to her but Liv Morgan I know she's embarrassed I feel bad for anybody really in the WWE who ever got pulled over and it was all over the news you know what they do you know if they did a crime they should pay obviously but it's just you know it's all over the blogs it's all over Twitter they're trending it's just already embarrassing and then you're already scared that you're gonna lose your job so I kind of feel for Liv Morgan don't really know what happened I know it's trending but I kind of feel because I know she's probably scared she's probably like what's gonna happen to my job am I gonna be okay you know things like that so and then it's all over the internet so I'm sure she's like a little bit embarrassed and you know she's already feeling, you know, guess, you know, remorseful. She's already said that she got pulled over and she's already probably scared that she has to tell WWE. But now on top of that, she has to deal with people talking about it on Twitter, people talking about it on Facebook, the blogs. Hey, I hope they don't put this in a wrestling magazine. I mean, so now everybody's going to judge her. So I guess that's being a WWE superstar is, but Liv Morgan, if anything, maybe a suspension. I get that's fair. I I would say that's fair, but um, because we have people who've done this before and worse, who got multiple chances, and I'm not even naming one person. There's a lot of people that have done this. So if they do something drastic like release her. I don't know, I don't want to say they're sexist, but I will say that it's a little odd that, you know, when a female does it, they are quick to release them. But, um, isn't she injured? Can't she just say this was part of her treatment? What, was she arrested in Florida, I think? Yeah, they, they said Florida. Couldn't she say she was injured? I mean... Isn't that what they do sometimes? Put you on marijuana? So maybe it was prescribed to her. All they said is she had marijuana. So they really didn't tell the full story. They just said that she had marijuana on her. But you don't know if she was prescribed it for her pain. She is a wrestler at the end of the day. Marijuana is something that a lot of people are doing. So if it's legal in a lot of states, maybe her doctor prescribed it for her. So maybe she won't get in trouble if it's prescribed. I mean, alcohol, nobody prescribes you to drink. So, but marijuana, that does help with pain. Who knows what kind of pain she's in. Isn't she injured? So I'm not making excuses. I'm just saying. So maybe she has a way out of this is all I'm saying. But um, I know she embarrassed. Isn't she dating Bo Dallas? I know people recorded it behind the scenes and they've seen them together at the stores and people kind of talk about it, but they don't talk about it. So isn't she with Bo Dallas? I mean, I hope I'm just saying that because I hope maybe she has somebody that she can talk to during this time, because I already know she's embarrassed. I already know when she goes back to WWE after her injury, she might be embarrassed to go backstage. So she's gonna have to relive everything again because she's already embarrassed. She might not know what the WWE universe is going to react to her when she comes out. Uh, maybe she's afraid of her fan base. I only know her, um, you know, I know her personality based on Total Divas on that one season. She seemed like she didn't come from a lot, not to be funny at all, because I didn't come from wretchedness myself. But um, it seems like, I remember there was an episode where her mom came while they were on vacation. They surprised her with her mom because they were on vacation and she seemed very humbled and grateful. And I think she said back then that they never went on vacation together, her and her mom. So. That's why she was very emotional. So she really, this is a big, you know, this is a major thing that she has going for herself. So I really hope WWE gives her a second chance. You know, I think some people, you know, people deserve a second chance, but you know, 
she seems like she's a very caring person through Total Divas, and I know she cares about her fans a lot, so I know a lot of little girls like her, so I know she's probably also thinking about her fans, like, damn, now they know I do marijuana, they might think I'm a drug user, so... I don't know, being a wrestler or being WWE, your business is on the streets and people talk about it. So I hope she bounces uh, through this. Like they say, this too shall pass. Thank you for watching. I'm Mark Hills World. You can call me Mar, whatever you want to call me. Make sure you subscribe to the YouTube and the TikTok. I post on both platforms. Peace.